Hey guys, it's me, Nalthazar, and today I wanted to take a look at Davriel Rogue Shadow Mage because it will be available from Fiblethip's inventory next week. And so I wanted to go over whether or not this was worth getting for you or not. So Davriel is actually a pretty decent Vanguard. So it's a rare, so it's going to cost you 250 yellow crystals. And it has two abilities. So the first one is at the beginning of your opponent's turn, if they have three or less cards in hand, this support deals three damage to your opponent's Planeswalker. Now, if your opponent has three cards in hand at the start of their turn, this takes place before they draw, so they're still going to take that three damage. The minus one is your opponent discards a card. So, given that this has three Vanguard Shields, you can make your opponent discard three cards for nine mana, assuming that the black gem that it goes on doesn't get matched. Now, the really quick response to this is, should you get Davriel? No, probably not. If you have a lot of gems, you're a collector, so mana crystals, and you're set for when Throne of Eldraine comes out next week, then by all means, go ahead and get him. He's, he's decent, right? Decent. But there are other cards that perform the role of making your opponent discard a card every turn a little bit better than Davriel does. Now, what... I was really pleased about with getting Davriel is it made me try out a lot of different deck combinations. And so the first thing that came to my mind was making a Liliana 1 discard deck. And I found that you really don't need Davriel in that deck. There are enough other things that are doing this better, and Liliana's first is also better. So it then got me thinking, what were some other ways that I would be able to make this card work? And so, just for giggles, I decided to try and throw it into a Super Friends deck, so a Planeswalker a Vanguard deck, excuse me, that would make the ability a little bit better. And so I decided to pair it up with Teferi, who was also recently in Fiblethep's inventory. And I decided to pair it with Teferi in part because Teferi is going to bounce your opponent's last creature, which then you can use Davriel to make your opponent discard. Or if you use it with Bolas Dragon God, same thing for Teferi, right? You bounce the creature and you have them exile it. So depending on what you want to do, you just permanently get rid of the creatures. And also, one of the bigger limitations here for Davriel is that Davriel only has a minus ability. So if there's a way to get him more shields. And sure enough, we've got Sword of Truth and Justice, and this is going to cause you to proliferate twice or give two shields to each of your Vanguard supports whenever the creature is attached to attacks. So, all in all, it made me make this here Super Friends deck, and I was really surprised with how fun the deck is. I do like having Davriel in it. I honestly think that Tamiyo has a better place in this deck than Davriel does, so there's that. But it's still a fun deck, so I want to go ahead, show it off, and if you like it, then go ahead, get Davriel yourself, right? So... Why is it that I am not suggesting that you get Davriel, right? So there's a few reasons. One is that the card is mediocre, but two, and I feel like this is the more important reason, and that is that we're getting a new set next week. And so with the coming of a new set, it's better that we try and conserve our resources to get cards in that set. So if you don't have enough yellow crystals for the set, it, it's probably worth it for you to save them, right? Or even if you feel like you have a fairly substantial collection of crystals, it, it could still be worth it for you to save them for the event, uh, sorry, for, for the, the release of the set, just so you can get as much of that set and play around with as much of it as you can from the get-go. Now, here you're seeing the deck working really, really well, and you might be saying, well, okay, Nalthazar, this is just Rupture Spire doing its thing and Blue Sun Zenith doing its thing. And yeah, absolutely, you know, those definitely play a fairly substantial role in the success of this deck. But it's a really, really fun deck. So we've got Davriel out here. This is going to be your first chance to see him in action. I'm going to go ahead, tap that minus one, make Liliana discard a card. And then looking at the gem options here... I'm actually going to go ahead and move Blue Sun up, toss it to Fairy, and actually move this to Fairy up, match that for the landfall, get to Fairy and another Blue Sun. That Rupture Spire 
is unfortunately going to pop both of those gems before anything else comes out. So that means we're going to be losing one of our wish tokens, but it's really not the end of the world, right? So we get one, we lose one. Not, not the end of the world. Uh, that's going to make us get a free Azor, which is nice. And now you get to see how this all sort of just keeps building on itself and building on itself and building on itself. Ideally, we get Bolas out soon because once you get all of your little friends out, when Bolas comes out, you start doing like 40 damage to the face, which is really cool. So we're going to go ahead, we're going to toss this here sword, and we're just going to keep on playing stuff. So let's go ahead, match that. That's going to give us the Golos activation, which is going to get us free cards. And we definitely want those free cards. There's the Bolas. So that's pretty good. We're going to want to try and get one more Golos activation next turn. If we can, eh, silly me, right? Um, need to be more careful, but eh, whatever, we're fine. Um, taking a look, we're going to go ahead and see what we have out. We're going to use Teferi to bounce that creature, and then we're going to use Bolas to exile that creature from the opponent's hand. And then I'm actually going to go ahead and toss the Death Sprout, and I'm going to toss that Sword of Truth and Justice. We're going to make that match. We're still going to be able to get both of the Wishes this turn, so we're still going to be getting a bunch of cards out of that, which is going to be a Davriel and another Azor, which is going to be locking Liliana down from playing any spells this turn, which is nice, so even if she wanted to kill everything, she wouldn't be able to. We're getting a whole bunch of free cards, which is awesome. And we get to swing for the win. So this is the deck. It's, it's really, really fun. You just get so many cards, and they're all coming down, and they come down in bursts. And I mean, yeah, it, Davriel is a cheap Vanguard, so it's going to be played with Blue Sun. Now, should you get Davriel? Really, probably not. Um, you can skip this one and save your crystals for another one. So hopefully this helps, and I see you in the next one. Have a good one.